Hey, what's up team? I wanna show you the exact process for the beginning stages of the sales funnel. Uh, obviously, each stage is important, but when you put all three together, that's when you see amazing results. So leave me a comment and just type in BAM. I'm creating the BAM framework, build, automate, market. And that's the exact sequence and strategy that we do for our business and for all of our clients. So step one is obviously you have to build the funnel, build the system. Step two is you have to automate it. And then once your system is completely perfected, then you can start your marketing. So have you gone through the steps? Do you have all three of these steps ready? And that's where I'm at now. I'm making this video because I've already built it, I've already automated it, and now I have to market it and provide value, go out there and help people. So comment BAM if you want my BAM framework when we go live. So the first step is you gotta come up with a mock-up. That mock-up's gotta match your brand. You have to have exactly the right structure so the client knows exactly where they're going. They need to know what the pain points are, what your solutions are, and then the services to match that. From there, you need to have different solutions for them. Are you giving them an ebook? Are they filling out a survey? Are they getting a free trial? What are those offers to exchange for contact info so you can put them in your automate process next? So it's all about the design and then the mock-up and then making sure it's about the pain points, making it about the customers. You're 10 steps ahead in your business. You gotta bring yourself 10 steps back and make it about what the customer is looking for. So part of the design process is we have that six step process. This six step process is what has brought us amazing results and all of our clients amazing results. Uh, number one, the very top part of your website should be about the one pain point. You can only choose one. What's that one thing that's general that your customers are gonna need help with? What are they searching into Google? What do they need help and how is it gonna benefit them the most? Then it needs to go into section two to provide three general solutions that you will solve that pain point. They have one pain point, you've got three solutions. You're not giving them exactly what those solutions are because you're still making it about them. The pain point's about them, the solutions are about them, and then you can talk about your services later on. Number three is about section. This is gonna be like a video, a personal video. I always recommend making personal welcome videos on your website. We just did a blog about that, and a couple of the Automation Links clients have already made their about videos, put them on the site, and are seeing results from it. Then you can be exact. If you're experiencing this exact pain point, this is the exact service for you. You can make it a service, you can make it a download, uh, something free, something paid, but you figured out their pain point, you showed them that you have the solutions, and now you can be exact, a clear path, a clear picture on what they should sign up for, for what they actually came to your site looking for. And then number five is gonna be testimonials. This, want, you want the testimonials to match the pain points. So if you talk about a pain point, and then the solution, and then a service, the testimonials should be talking about that. What's a client that you've worked with in the past that had the same pain point that you provided us a solution and they've hired you for that service. That client should be matched up with the, with the pain point and with the testimonial. Last but not least, the call to action. One call to action, your very best call to action to get them to give you their contact info. It can be the ebook, it can be the survey, the trial, get their contact info. So then in later in step two, you can go into the automate process and they'll be added to the automate. Only one to 2% want to sign up and buy from you when they first come to your site. So what are you doing with the other 98% or 99%? Are you building that relationship, putting them in the automation funnel, or are they just leaving? Come to the site and leave. you got to get them into the automate, and if you don't have that set up, they're just going to come to your site and leave. So this is step one of the BAM framework. I'm going to continue building it out, and when it's done, I'll send it to anyone that commented BAM. I'll send it over, but it's going to be one page one page that you can follow for the build, automate, and market. That way you're able to get more conversions from your website and sales funnel. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. And I will talk to you soon.